Shanking is one thing, but how many of you are guilty of hitting the ball fat, divot covering the ball up? There is a way to get out of it. Watch. <laughs> yeah, you probably just fell off that couch watching that shot. You know, most of you guys that I play with in pro-ams, that is what you do, is hit the ball fat. I know you ladies do it also because you're always asking me about it. You know, the problem is not that you have the club too long. The problem is at the top of the backswing. What happens once you've gotten there is the last three fingers in your left hand open up because you want to get that club back a little bit farther, and then they close on you on the way down. And this is what throws the club and makes it too long, and you hit the ball fat. What you want to do is hold on with the last three fingers very firm and come down into the hitting area. Let me show you. Don't forget, if you're hitting that ball fat, put a lot of pressure on these last three fingers. How do you hit a fairway wood? Do you hit up on it or do you hit down on it? Watch these next few tips. Fairway woods, they can be difficult. If you've been having a little problem with them lately, chances are that you're hitting up on the ball. By hitting up on it, you're catching the ball a third of the way up. What you want to do is you want to hit down on a fairway wood, compress it into the ground. This is what gets the ball up. Now, if you've been missing it, you're guilty of putting it too far forward. And the reason is because you want to see some loft on that club. So you've got it forward, and you swing up on it, and you top the ball. That looked familiar to you. What you have to do here is you have to play the ball back in to your stance. Now, that would look like it doesn't have any loft on it, but that's okay, because when you hit down on it, you will compress it into the ground, and this is what gets the ball up in the air. If I hit down on that ball, I don't have to look up to see where it went. I can hear the roar of the crowd. Don't forget, if you're missing that shot, you're hitting up on it. Put it back a little bit, hit down on it, you're going to reach a lot of par fives from now on. Sooner or later, you're going to find yourself in heavy rough. What do you do with it? We have problems with it. I'm sure you do, too. The reason that we have problems with this particular shot is simply because you're probably using an iron out of this heavy rough. What happens is when you get ready to execute the shot, the ball's coming out low left. Now, the reason for this is that the blade is tangling up in the grass and the toes coming over. You're actually helping this by putting body movement into it. Now, the reason for this is because the iron is very sharp. Hosel is very small. When the grass gets wrapped up in that hosel, the toe goes over. Let me show you my favorite club out of tall grass, the six wood. The reason, the front of the club is not as sharp as the iron. The hosel is much bigger, therefore the grass will not wrap around it and make the toe come over. The only difference that you do executing a six wood out of heavy rough as opposed to a long iron is that I hit the ball with upper body. I try to keep my lower body as stationary as possible. Look at that shot. How many tournaments could I have won if I'd have known that tip 10 years ago? Don't forget, if that ball's going out of there low left, get you a six wood. How many times have you found yourself in this situation? You've driven the ball straight down the middle of the fairway, and there you are in a divot. Well, it's not that difficult to get out of this situation. All you have to do is play that ball back. Hood that club just a little bit. Now, use the club that it takes for that distance. But remember, if you use a seven, you're actually making it a six iron. Hit down and through this ball, not up. Keep that weight on the left side, hit down, <laughs> and it does help to be strong. You have to use a lot of the green because the ball's going to come out of there low. Don't forget, play the ball back, hood that club, hit down and through it. I've got a beauty I want to show you over here. And then you're going to have lies like this, hard pan. Well. You have to play it approximately the same way that you did the other one. Play it back into your stance and hood the club just a little bit. Now, you do have to remember that this is a piece of cake for Ole because this is exactly what I learned to play on. 
Gonna come out of there a little low. Don't forget, if you're not playing golf courses with a lot of grass, you're gonna have a lot of hard pan. Play it back, hit down on it, and have some fun with it.